With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is if x is the amount of adsorbate and m is the amount of adsorbent, which of the following relations is not related to the adsorption process? So the so keep in mind that the adsorption process that we are going to consider here is the physical adsorption only, right? Because in chemical adsorption, chemical bonds are formed and that is not what we are considering here. So for all these relations, we are going to consider the physical adsorption in which the weak forces are present between the adsorbate and the adsorbent molecules, right? So if X is the amount of adsorbent and M is the mass of the adsorbent, then X by M actually represents the extent of adsorption, right? It represents the extent of adsorption or the degree of adsorption. And what is adsorption actually? It is a surface phenomena in which the molecules are adsorbed on the surface rather than the bulk. Okay. Now there is a relationship uh, by the Langmuir adsorption isotherm that at constant temperature x by m is proportional to 3 to the power of 1 by n. Okay. Where n is a constant and when we remove the sign of proportionality we get another constant which is k. So it is proportional to p to the power 1 by n and if we plot a curve between x by m and pressure we get a curve something like this at constant temperature right so therefore there is a relationship between x by m or you can say that x by m is a function of pressure at constant temperature this is correct okay now if we talk about the next one then x by m is a function of temperature also because as we said earlier that we are considering physical adsorption here yeah? then x by m is actually inversely related to the temperature right x by m is the extent of adsorption Right, and if we talk about the physical adsorption in particular, then x by m and temperature they have an inverse relation. It means that this is the curve that we are going to obtain. That as the temperature increases, the extent of adsorption is going to decrease. Right, the molecules will start dissolving. It means that they will start leaving the surface. Okay, so therefore there is a x by m is also a function of temperature at constant pressure. Yes, by keeping the pressure constant, we plot a curve between x by m and p which is an inverse type of a graph. So, this is also correct. The next is that pressure is a function of temperature at constant x by m. Yeah, this is also correct. Now, if we talk about an ideal gas, we have that PV is equal to nRT, right? So, we have this relationship between P and T, right? We have this relationship between P and T that on increasing the temperature, the pressure will increase, right? If, if we keep the amount as a constant, if we keep basically the number of moles in volume as a constant, if we keep the amount as a constant, then this is the relation that we are going to get. Then yes, a 2, 3 and 4 are already correct. You have to tell which is not related to the process. So the option number 1 is not related to the process, right? So actually this is the correct answer, right? It is very, very clearly visible. There is uh, no expression such that x prime is equal to p x p into t. There's no such relationship. This is the relationship that we have between X by M and P, which is given by the friendlich adsorption isotherm. So there's no relationship like this. Therefore, this is the correct answer for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.